good gloomy, rainy, and thundering afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, be sure to come back tomorrow. Here's my license. <laughs> you're so goofy. <laughs> We come bearing gifts. We do come, <laughs> gifts, come bearing gifts, and hopefully the storm has passed. We brought our bathing suits again too. Yeah. So also, where, where were they today? They were at Magic Kingdom today. They were gonna stay. We were gonna go back. How was that work? Um, but the. Like, it was pretty crowded and the storms were rolling in, so we decided for a night at the door. Which I'm going to be honest, when the air hearts see this, I may tell them this when we see them. I'm happy. Yeah, it'll be a happy. good night. Also, throwback to the delicious dinner I made tonight. Oh. oh, I come home to the most delicious looking food. Sarah thinks she's super cool with her homemade plant-based awesome pants hamburger. I also haven't asked Sarah for her reaction yet, but she told I went to Target on the way home to pick us up some, some stuff up, the Earhart some stuff, and she said get the healthiest hamburger buns, and these are vegan and healthy, and she hates whole wheat. Well, we have pickles. We do have pickles. Organic. I. Well, we have we have new one. We uh, also have Sarah. I didn't tell you. Yeah. Ben said a small pack of diapers for one of their children's mm -hmm. and there wasn't the right size in the small mm -hmm. and so apparently Carolyn's theory of a small order is a box of 88. Oh. So that's in the car. FYI. Okay. So I just put out like an ask for suggestions on our baby burkhart project Instagram but if you have any suggestions let me know. I'm trying to do some things to get this cyst away so I'm doing like apple cider vinegar, I'm doing greens, I'm doing watermelon diet and then I also start acupuncture on Friday. And we just got rid of our sulfate based shampoo. Yeah, so we're trying to like go clean with like our products and stuff because that actually affects your hormones. We have an African fertility necklace, an mm -hmm. Indian fertility gem. That I sleep with under my pillow. Um, I got I have moonstones, like, I got all have, sorts of stuff. We have like stuff. a million St. Gerard medallions and yeah. cards. Um, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. I do know that there's some essential oils that I'm going to look into um, and also some like massaging and heat therapy. So. Okay, just put it in the comments. Wow, we, we seeked coverage we just, just in time. I don't even know if you can tell that it's raining in the shot. It's pouring! <gasps> all the birds. I'm all sweaty. Your hands all sweaty. Whoa. So cute. Thanks. It was perfect timing. They got off the bus as we strolled up. No, <laughs> my She, knew, she woke up from her nap right as they got on the bus. We woke her. She did not want to get. Did Cordelia love her gift? She did. Do you want to show it? We got Cordelia's baby swaddle from our favorite place, Sugar Boo. And a little frog. And look at these amazingly delicious looking plates that they're getting. They're plastic and they're having a hard time finding them, right? Yeah, we found two in a pack. Oh, yummy. Is that a macaroon or a macron? A macaron. Oh, macaron. is that right? Is that right? I don't, I don't. Macaron is almond and macaron has a coconut base. Mm -hmm. uh, right. <laughs> Put a comment down below which one's right. This is the blanket. I didn't realize that it was going to be so big. Carolyn pointed out that eventually it could be like decoration, like on a wall. But it says, may you touch fireflies and stars. Dance with fairies and talk to the moon. What do you have to say? 
Cecilia. <laughs> She's got something to say for <laughs> sure. Hi, Judy. You having a good time? <laughs> a little bonkers. <laughs> Both of you. Do you need help? You want to make her smile? Make her smile. Oh, oh she loves it. Aw, baby. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Lifeguards. It looks like the lifeguards are getting getting ready to get back out there. Oh, the camera's fogging up. I was allowed to send the camera fogged up. Get that sign in there. What? Read the sign. All the games are in free play. What? We need to hit that up later. Ben and I myself got some libations from Boardwalk Joe's. I just saw the, the Joe sign on Hoffer the first time. The little one. I went with a shelf and Hoffer. I went classy. The, I didn't even get keep the cup. Keep it in the can. Keep it in the can. Keep it real. That's going to be my, my slogan when I want to be Mayor Pete 2.0. <laughs> keep it in the can. <laughs> little Cordelia is knocked out. And I think we have a bag of, of snacks over here. I just got tripped on treats. Right, watch your milk. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> It's looks. not your si signature like Those room service mushrooms. pizza. Really good. Yeah. The pizza itself looks yeah. decent. I'm sure it's <laughs> very hot and very fresh. It has fresh. the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, I think it's more so FOMO that I'm gonna go order some french fries. I'm gonna order a bunch because I know Kaylee and Katrina want some as well. I actually don't know if Katrina wants some. She seemed excited, but Kaylee was hankering for some. So I'll order a good amount for a little snack for Sarah and myself and for the kids to, to munch on some. So I think they have them at this boardwalk to go place right here. That's where we ordered from the other night. I don't know if we showed this menu the other day, but here's the menu for boardwalk to go. I want one of those milkshakes so bad. That's one of the things I miss the most about being vegan. Well, wait, I want to say thank you to Chip from Gainesville for saying hello. He stopped us. He's visiting from not too far, just a little bit north from here, visiting with a family over here at the boardwalk. I don't know if they're staying here or not, but thank you for saying hi. And I'm hoping the french fries are quick because they're just like, it's psh, 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 good to go. Boardwalk is, is not my favorite. I'm just kidding. It is one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite. I just think it looks gorgeous at night, especially when it's been raining. If, but I, I would actually, a lot of people I think would not like to have their room up there, fear for noise. But I would love my room to be right above like Abracadabra or Tutorial Forno, one of those. I think it would be a lot of fun. I would just hang out there all night. You need his official review. Who's? Friends? What do you think of the mushrooms? Amazing. What do you think about the pizza as a whole? The pizza as a whole yes. is good to and great. Pie. The mushrooms are great. So what about the service? Because I know we've had some questionable actions by them. We didn't have to wait very long. No. Right. We were quizzical of them because they close early sometimes. I would definitely they're... eat it again. It's not like, oh, this is the best what? pizza in the world. But is it different than like the pizza you order from? It's better than what I what expected for there. Disney pizza. Back on your there you go. That's all I need to know. I would eat it. I will eat it one day. Um, you're supposed to be sleeping. No. Don't ignore me, little girlie. Sleep. I don't know about sleep. It's, it's summertime. Great. Oh, she called me. <laughs> Uh, she's not to the point where it's so loud that it's yeah. No, outside of Ariel. <laughs> what is this dance going on? Yes, you are. Oh, you got the camera? <laughs> you got the froggy? The froggy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, can we just go and sit in the lobby for five minutes? I have a headache, like a really bad one that just like, came on in the last like 30 minutes. And we're about to leave and I was like, I'm going to feel really sad when we go home because I just, I'm just going to wish that we sat on those couches for yeah. five minutes even. Did you guys know that these little paintings above the doors are the different castles from all the Disney parks around the world? It's my favorite resort. I'm just joking. I said the other day that this is not my favorite resort because I don't consider it a resort. I consider it a place, a special place. Well, it is a resort. I know, but like in my realm of like favorites, it's my favorite place. Whereas like Wilderness Lodge is my favorite resort. Would you say that Grand Floridian is your favorite lobby? Yes, that's a big differentiation. Between you like it more than Wilderness Lodge? I think I just set you up. <laughs> Do you like it more than the Wilderness Lodge then? 
Because you like the Wilderness Lodge as a whole. Wilderness Lodge as a whole wins. Lobbies for including wins. Places, whatever you want to call that. Please, next time you're at the boardwalk, stop by this cool display, this little American Eagle looking roller coaster. Um, I'd like to point out a few things from these little people. Look at that little boy eating what looks to be like a corn dog. Look at that sassy man. And look at this little newsboy. Headlines don't sell papes. Newsies sell papes. And does that girl have like a T-bone back there in her hand? And let's just say, let's be honest here. These people have been blacked out for about <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> Because that's how long this resort's been open. They've been hanging upside down. Longer than that. I don't know how long this display. Peter, we almost, we did the couch program like ten years ago. Oh man. Oh man. No. no. And that woman right there, with the two little kids, that's definitely Mrs. Nesbitt. Where? Down there. Yeah. That looks like the lady from Tower of Terror. Super zoomed in on your face. Now I'm struggling. It's time to say goodbye to all our company. Oh. And my See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because we love Eve. Today is life, the only life you are sure of. Shake yourself awake. Live today with gusto. Dale Carnegie. Peter doesn't feel good. I love that quote though. He's got a headache. I haven't had a headache like this in a, a long time. I just got headaches really bad. Sarah always gets them. I used to get them in high school a lot. Like just as much as Sarah. Mm -hmm. But they usually don't like, my stomach hurts. And my, and my eyes hurt. I hate that. I haven't had one of these, like one this bad, and it came on fairly quickly. I started feeling it. Mm -hmm. I mean, my eye was twitching all night, but I thought that was like my sty potentially trying to come back. And I started feeling the headache when we were about to leave the boardwalk to go back to their room. And it really hit me when we got back to their room after the little snacks. I just gave Peter some peppermint oil on his temples, so hopefully mm. that'll help. I've never tried that before. Hopefully it I don't does. know how Eve will like it, though, because Eve likes to, like lick my head in the middle of the night sometimes. I wake up she and she'll just She can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go to bed. Yeah. The week's almost over. Um, wanna say super pumped and happy about it being Pride Month. Yeah. I don't think we, we talked about it a little bit over the weekend when we saw the Epcot Pride stuff, but mm -hmm. there's a fun run that I signed up for Saturday morning. Well, not fun run, but it's a great cause. Mm -hmm. to, uh, it supports the Pulse Fo One Pulse Foundation for the nightclub terror attack that happened three years ago. There's a 5K run Saturday morning for it. Well, it's not 5K, right? It's a 4.9K because there was 49 people that lost their lives at that attack. So it's a 4.9K. Um, I'm going to try to sneak away from the boardwalk Saturday morning to go do it because I signed up for it a couple months ago. Yeah. And we have just haven't been talking about it, but it's... Um, yeah. A good We're going to look good into cause. other different events that are going on in Orlando this month. Also, our friends at Swish and Flick, they um, came out with some Pride merchandise. And they are donating all of the proceeds. Like, Is it Harry Potter related? Yeah, it's like it's really cool because like the rainbow is like red is Gryffindor, yellow, Hufflepuff, uh -oh. green is Slytherin, blue, and then the purple is Swish. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um lacely designed merchandise. Can I read that it like, goes to like, a kid's foundation? Yeah, I'll put um, the name of the foundation that it goes to right here. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, go um, to the link that is in our description to, to one, get a really cool piece of merchandise, and yeah. two, to donate to a good cause. And three, go check our friends out at this. Like, like, go <laughs> yeah. listen, if you're a Harry Potter fan, go listen to their podcast, because they're some of our best friends from Ohio. Yeah, alright, well, let's go to bed. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.